YouTube, this is my next person to interview, Richard Lamb. He just top 32 in YCS Kansas with a deck that was overhyped, and he just fulfilled the hypeness. And Rich, introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Richard Lamb. Um, like he said, I just top 32 at uh, YCS Kansas. Thanks to my boy uh, Jarrell, who uh, helped me out with the deck. You did You yeah. did share a hotel with me, unlike Leonard Hill, but go ahead. <laughs> unlike Leonard Hill. <laughs> All right. So uh, today, I'm going to be answering some questions. Uh -huh. um, uh, I hope, you know, you know, I hope I do this video good. So no problem. I'm going to ask you seven questions that are mostly requested by my Yugi, by my Yu-Gi-Oh friends and YouTubers. We are at a regionals playing right now. What is a misplay? Uh, well, basically, sorry, go uh, basically a misplay is uh, when somebody you know does a play that you know that every that that should not that should not have happened at that point. But to me, a misplay just depends on you know the player. Because if I do a play that you might not agree with, you know, but you might do a play that I might not agree with, but they could be the right players. So under the circumstances. Under the circumstances. Okay, well, let me just ask this because this is the hottest thing on YouTube. Right. Courtney, which you and I both witnessed the final match. Right. Do you think his summoning a DD Crow was a bad move? Uh, I absolutely don't think it was a bad move. Do you uh, think that it was a misplay, even though he still won? Absolutely not. Why? Because whatever he was thinking at the time was the right play for him. If I was in that situation, maybe I wouldn't have summoned a DD Crow, but then I can't say that, you know? If maybe I would have, and maybe I wouldn't have. So it's not a misplay. All right, what do you think is better? A person misplaying and then being rewarded with a win, or a top, or... A, or a good prize, or a person that plays perfect and wins. Well, I misplayed and I still got a top, so okay. I, I'm not gonna say. Uh, obviously, it's the person that that plays the best, you know, and you know doesn't misplay. Okay, but you not to cut you off though. But this is what my channel is for. Only right. me to make points. Oh, yeah. You say, <laughs> you say right. playing good or well. Who the right. fuck said anything about that? I said playing perfect. All right, playing. Well, there's no playing perfect. Oh, there's so no now you understand the question. There's, there's no such thing as being perfect. Why not? Huh? Why not? Because we're not all Jarrell Winston. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Good well, answer, I don't right? Play, Good answer. I don't play perfect because I messed up in the finals. <laughs> but honestly speaking, though, like, so you believe that there's no playing perfect? No. So why, so why when, so why when Courtney did his move, they said you should never did that. You wasn't supposed to do that. Why is that? Because they don't understand what he was doing. Because he is him. Right, basically. All right, all right. So you think the player that Who's plays? Who's answering these questions? Me or you? You yeah. and I. <laughs> uh, but go ahead. Um, I'm just asking you from Shane's point of view right. and Robert's point of view, though, okay. the two people that that I interviewed before. Got you. So you believe that a player that plays well deserves the the, the game. Absolutely. And it's not about misplaying because to what's misplaying to the community is not misplaying to them. Right. Because they're in the situation. Right. That's same, same, same thing like they, everybody's been saying my my feature match where I didn't set the max C. There's reasons behind why I didn't set the max C. But that's that's for me to know. You know, everybody else just speculate what they want. Right? Okay. So speculation is due to everybody. Okay. What is better to you, topping overall, one time? And winning, and then never being seen again, or consistently topping over and over and over. I would say it's a consistent, consistently topping over and over again, uh, because just just winning that one time and then never being seen again, that just means you know you got lucky. What if they're busy though? Huh? What if they're busy with their kids at home? Then they can't come back. Yu-Gi-Oh comes first. Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh comes <laughs> first. Oh shit! All right, what makes a person good in Yu-Gi-Oh to you? Uh, somebody, basically, for me, you can't be cocky at the game. If you're good, you know, then, you know, you're good. You know, you don't have to show, you don't have to, like, you know, throw it in everybody's face. That's, to me, that's that's a good person in Yu-Gi-Oh. Give us, give me two names in Yu-Gi-Oh when you think about that's not cocky. That's not cocky? Yeah. Uh, Jarrell Winston? Definitely uh, but, not cocky. Besides me, because you and I are friends. Not cocky. Um, <laughs> Mm, off the top of my head, I think Shane's not too cocky. Shane Scurry, all right. Shane's not too cocky. Um, and um, I don't know. I don't know who else. Because everybody, everybody, everybody knows. You know, pretty much. You know, oh, I'm the best player. I'm the best player. So. What about all the past winners we have? None of them. I don't know most of them, so I can't tell you. I think Frazier's pretty humble with. It. Frazier. All right, Frazier Smith, no problem. Frazier Smith is like widely respected. Yeah, he's pretty humble. So. Who's entitled to, what kind of people are entitled to respect in this Yu-Gi-Oh game? And when I say that, I mean, um, are the winners re um, required respect or are the people that trade good or just the people that have fun at the game? Just, 
Just as long as you show me respect, I'm gonna show you the respect. Back. But so. if you're talking to someone that won like six or seven times, right. which never happened, but let's just say it, right. and then they don't talk to you because you're not up to their level, right. do you believe that they should give you respect because you didn't do what they did? Uh, for me, it's like yeah. They, if, if let's say if if, um, if they would like I said, if they give me the respect, I'm gonna give them the respect back. If if you're gonna if you're gonna win once or twice and then just look down at everybody else, then I'm you know I'm gonna say screw you too. You know. It's just, all right. Um, what is your goal for entering the YCS? Well, what was your goal for entering Kansas? Obviously to win. All right, but you say obviously, to, obviously to win. But to most people, they don't enter just to win. They just so happen to win. Well, if, if you enter not, if if you enter a YCS and you're not gonna, if you're not trying to win or top thirty two, don't play. All right, but you say win as in win the whole thing or win every match, match by match. Thing. Oh, see, but can that's you? A, that's, that should be your goal. It's you to go, win the whole it, thing. It's to win the whole thing. Right. Oh, all right. Well, that's a new thing. All right. I I'm, I might have to go back to. Shane and Robert. If you was to win a YCS, let's say you was to win Georgia or California. Right. Which I am. Oh, which you are. Yeah, oh, I'm put that shit. Out there right now. All right. Tell tell the YouTube world what yeah. you're gonna do. I'm gonna take Atlanta and LA. Atlanta and LA. Yeah. Oh no. Okay. I don't think you can do LA because no California because that's my stomping ground. All right. I'm, I, and then I'll see you in the finals, bro. Oh, you see me in the finals? Oh no. Jeff Jones and I will be in the finals oh, again. Damn. But um, you say Atlanta. Fraser Smith got that all covered. Oh, does he? Yes, he does because he right. won that. I hope, I hope Fraser's watching this right now. <laughs> I'm putting him on the spot. All right, all right, Fraser. It's all love. Re remember the. the text message that I just sent you but if you was to win tomorrow though Rich or the, or the next YCS would you change your attitude towards everybody no why that's not, not? The, that's not the type of person I am that's and in all honesty all jokes aside right. but can't you just be saying this because you already know that right now you need to be humble but after you get that chip then you can change on the face of the earth no because this, I mean like I said I've never won yet, right? So I can't, I can't really 100% tell you, but I know how I am. You know, I, even though I top 32, I didn't throw it in nobody's face. I wasn't asking for no congratulations or nothing. So if I were to win, you know what? Then I won, you know? And I'm gonna try it again. If I win one, I'm gonna try to keep winning. But I'm not gonna throw it in everybody's face. Can the YouTube world um, say, <laughs> Say that you are the next up and coming star, I guess, or because you're playing with rabbits. Up and coming, I'm already the star right now. And you say you're not cocky. I'm not cocky. <laughs> so what is this? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Um, I wouldn't call up and coming star. Uh huh. But, um, I mean, like I said, I took a deck that uh, everybody, everybody had was you know overhyping, and they, they like they said overhyping, and I did good with it. So you know, I don't, I don't listen to everybody else. You know, if I saw a deck that I think was good, then I think it's good. And do you think that you'll be playing that deck for Atlanta? Uh, or you or, or you don't want to disclose the secrets? I don't want to disclose the secret right now. Uh, but I, I'm probably not. I'm probably not going to play that deck again. What is the next best deck to you right now? Right now? Uh, like I said, I don't want to uh, oh. disclose that. All right, it's yeah, Rich. All right. I'm pretty sure all the pros already know. So. Oh, shit. Yeah. And one question. Why do you have blue eyes? Huh? Huh? Because I'm not really Chinese. You're not really Chinese? What are you? Huh? I'm black. You're black. This this is a skin condition. You know, when I was born. All right, YouTube. Oh, um, um, I don't know what to say. This this motherfucker is a fool, but he he did. Oh wait, I want someone to say that. Who said that? Say it one more time. Oh shit. Of course, of course. And on that Damn. terms, Damn. deuces, that, 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 Rich. Good looking, man. All right, thank you, man.